that moves us into our round 23 preview. After looking at all the teams and all the changes, I'm back here for a round 23 preview, the third last round of the regular season. In the NRL, on Thursday night, we have the Titans versus the Storm. A lot of changes in this one. So uh, we've got Jaden Campbell in for AJ Brimson. Jamal Fogarty returns in place of Toby Sexton. Aaron Clark will start for Mitch Rain at the number nine. And McIntyre replaces Fodder Wakeham. Didn't actually have a reason for Fodder Waker's absence. Um, I'd be seriously shocked if he got dropped. So maybe there's something, personal reasons or something, but... He's not playing. Then for Melbourne, Pappenhausen's finally been named at the fullback position, and that's because Nico Hines has been pushed to halfback as Jerome Hughes will be rested uh, after that concussion. Finucane, same thing, rested for concussion. Brandon Smith's also been rested, so Harry Grant will start at the number nine. George Jennings returns to replace Dean Iremiah, and Olam is rested for Marion Seve. So huge changes in the storm. Pappenhausen gets his... Hands back on that number one. That will be. I actually reckon he might not let go of it for the rest of the year. The Lions twenty one and a half in favor of the Storm. Oh, this is actually a tough one because the Titans did not play well on the weekend. But the last time these two sides played, it was actually pretty close. The Storm aren't humming either. No Fanuka, no Hughes, no Brandon Smith, no Olam. I'm actually going to say the Titans at the line. Storm head to head. I reckon it might be a close one not sure though the storm kind of they turn it on when you least expect it then friday early six o'clock raiders versus seagulls um there was talks of turbo being out he is named everything i'm saying is of tuesday so it obviously can change by the t- between now and when you're watching this but at the moment croker and styling are out uh, which i think is a huge out for the raiders as i mentioned earlier in the preview uh chance nickel clog stat makes Kluke Star, sorry, I uh, forgot about that pronunciation because he hasn't been playing, but he returns at fullback, which is great to see. I absolutely love Sean. Seb Chris is also back in the centres. Turbo's been named, and Brad Parker moves out for Moses Sully. The line's 14.5 to Manly. With Turbo named, I'm going to have to go Manly at the line and Manly head-to-head, but if Turbo was an out... Oh, I'd have to rethink that. I'm not sure. But at the moment, Turbo is in, so I'm going Manly at the line and the tip. Um, for Panthers Rabbitohs, this is an absolutely mouth-watering clash. They're both almost full strength, as I'm about to um, let you know. Coruscant's back from suspension. Capewell returns on the bench from suspension. Fisher-Harris and Pangai Jr. both are in the reserve, so that's going to be one to watch. Gagai, Graham, and Johnston all return for the South. Sydney Rabbitohs. Brayden Burns unfortunately drops out because of that, and Jaden Sewer has also dropped to the reserves. The line is two and a half in favour of the Panthers. This is tough. This is very tough. The Rabbitohs are the better the team in most form, but the I'm actually going to go to the Panthers here. I reckon the Panthers make a bit of, have a bit of a statement victory. The Rabbitohs haven't played great opposition in a while, I don't believe, so I'm going to say the Panthers turn it on. And win a really, really good game. I'm hoping it's a good game anyway. Then Saturday, 3 o'clock, Tigers versus the Cronulla in Rockhampton. Uh, Tamo and Roberts are in for the Tigers. Uh, big names, but not big impact players, unfortunately. Jacob Little and Tom McKayley are suspended. So Jake Simpkin will play at 9. Uh, not sure... Uh, Tolman suspended and Fafid is obviously out for reasons, as we mentioned. Hopefully he uh, has a full recovery and in quick fashion. Uh, thoughts are with you and your family once again. Um, the Tigers, I'm worried. Um, we saw it earlier on in the year. Simkin, I don't know if he'll have 80 minutes in him. I'm not sure what they're going to do if he doesn't, but he hasn't been playing because there's no reserve grade. So I'm very worried about him going 80 minutes. Roberts is on the bench, so um, this would be pretty extravagant, but they could put him center to our wing, Nofaluma fullback and by hooker, but that's about a five-player change. So I would be shocked if they did that. I don't think James Roberts would ever go hooker. I don't know, maybe Kelman Tualung, he's got a bit of hooking in him, but I think Simpkins in for 80 minutes there, which I'm more, I'm nervous about. Uh, the Shark, I just think the Sharks beat us here. I, I, I'm not sure what the actual head-to-head record is, but I'm sort of scarred from that 2019 game where we needed to beat them at Leicott and they absolutely pulverised us. So 
Uh, yeah, I reckon the Sharks win here. They're due for a win. Uh, we're not playing great. It's in Rockhampton, but I don't think that matters <laughs> either way. I just felt like saying that. So I'm going the Sharks at the line, which is only four and a half, and the Sharks head to head. Uh, then the Bulldogs Knights. Uh, the changes, Luke Thompson returns from suspension. Jackson Topine replaces Jam- uh, Jeremy Marshall King, who's out. Uh, I think his wife or partner is giving birth. Kyle Flanagan is playing halfback uh, as Abarillo moves to 5'8". On the night side, Daniel Saifid is out for three to five weeks. Tyson Frizzell suspended and Chris Randall's been named on the bench, which I like because I think he's a good player and hopefully him and Braley in tandem is a bit more damaging than Braley on his own. The line's 16 and a half in favour of the Knights. I think that's a pretty big line the way the Knights are playing right now. Uh, the Bulldogs are pretty injury ravaged. I'm going to go Bulldogs the line though, and you've got to tip the Knights there. Um, Eels Cowboys Saturday five. Oh no, that's the prime time Saturday game. Really, geez, that's a pretty average Saturday lineup. I can't even lie. Um, Eels versus Cowboys. Uh, Madison is obviously suspended for three weeks. Murata near Corey will replace him in the second row. Tom Opacek and Michael Oldfield were dropped after Saturday's um, woeful performance. Michael Penasini, I think it is. Uh, oh, no, it's Will Penasini. And Hayes Dunster replaced them. I actually rate that. I like the look of Penasini, and I think Dunster's a good player. Uh, so good to see them giving youth a chance for once. Uh, Jason Tamalolo's in the reserves for the Cowboys, uh, but not named to play. The Lions 11.5 in favor of the Eels. Jeez, it's tempting to go with the Cowboys there, but um, surely the Eels at some point have to turn it around, even if it's not in an impressive fashion. But I think they win here. Uh, I think their forward pack will be too strong, and I think they win comfortably, uh, maybe three tries or something. So I'll go Eels at the line and the Eels at the head-to-head. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I've done the favourite every time. Yeah, I actually have. Jeez, that's a weak, weak footy for me. But, uh, you know, the... Punters pick well. The bookmakers make their line educated. Uh, that sentence was not educated. But Dragons versus Roosters is the two o'clock game on Sunday in Toowoomba, which is interesting. Don't remember a footy stadium in Toowoomba when I lived in Brisbane, but I actually don't know what. I don't know if they have a Queensland. I don't. There's no Toowoomba Queensland Cup team, but like there might be a region. Like there's no team with Toowoomba in the name, but I don't know it that better. Uh, McCulloch's out for the season, unfortunately. Maguire has been picked uh, at the hooking role. Tarek Sims is back from suspension. Blake Laurie's out, potentially for the season, with a bad hand injury. Matt Dufty returns at fullback with Jack Bird going to centre. Adam Clune got dropped for Talatau Armone and Jaden Sullivan's on the bench. So I think the Dufty inclusion's good. I think he's not as elite as everyone says, but he gives them a bit of spark. And I don't think Bird was great at fullback with the greatest respect. I think he's a lot better center. Uh, And then for the Roosters, Warrior Harvard Graves is back and Radley's out for three weeks uh, suspension. So uh, three weeks, I think that's actually pretty harsh, but he's obviously got a really, really bad record. Um, Look, this is an interesting one because actually, no, what am I kidding (laughs) This is not interesting. The line's 12 and a half in the Roosters. Dragons at the line's interesting, but I'll go the Roosters at the line, Roosters head-to-head. Uh, I just think, like, look, Maguire at nines, like, that's sort of all I have to say. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see Dufty back in the lineup. And then we finish with the Broncos versus the Warriors. Milford replaces as a s- suspended Tyson Gamble. Har- Herbie Farmworth's back. Wachani Celestine acts back. And Bailey Sirenin's back. The Warriors at the line, one and a half. I know the Warriors are in some great form right now, three wins on the trot, but this is at Suncorp, Sunday afternoon footy. The Broncos are close to a victory, and I think this is where they get it. I'm backing the Broncos at the head-to-head and obviously, therefore, at the line. Um, I don't like tipping against the Warriors. I love the Warriors, but, uh, yeah, I just don't see them getting up here. So I have to say, I did say this last week, and it turned out to be a decent round of footy, but... Not that many blockbuster games. Panthers, Rabbitohs, obviously the headline act. But there are quite a few games between teams who are close on the ladder. So there might be some good football, hopefully anyway. Um, it's a miracle. Oh, yeah. What about that one? Unbelievable. Balotelli, Aguero. Crowd cheers. Here's Siddle. 